Welcome back to another brick -a fig release. Yes, that's right. And unfortunately, we don't have many figures this time time, but we do have 1x8 printed boards, Bird, I know you're watching, I know you're hey, Bird. and also Rogers Rangers brick -a fig stickers. stickers. Yes! So, um, yeah, very, very excited, and also we, of course, have the Indian Rogers Rangers French and Indian War British guy and French guy for sale on the website right now. I think we have about 10 of each of each one, so act fast, um, they are selling, so yeah. And then we also have sticker packs as well for the French guy, and these are the pictures up on screen, uh, the French guy and the British guy, and then we have War Club, oh, 1x4 and 1x6 printed boards to go along with the 1x8 boards. So everything that I just mentioned is in stock, and if you order, like by today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, probably get there by Christmas. Uh, if you wait too much longer after that, probably not gonna get here by Christmas. So I would uh, I would encourage you to order soon. I know what you're saying, Brian. All right, so here is the printed board right there. And um, it's a one by eight, and it fits in with the theme of the one by six and one by four that we've previously had. Dave, what are your opinions of this? Joshua, if I had a board like that when I was a boy, I probably would have gone somewhere and mounted to something. Uh, 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 okay. Feller can do a lot with a one by eight board, build stuff, use it as a direction, a guide. No, it's very cool. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I think in Legoland that's severely lacking are printed boards in usable sizes either brick or fig or you're trying to remedy that I think you're going to come out with other uh, different types of wood in the future so this could be really exciting for all the mock builders out there so I definitely agree with that sentiment and um, yeah so we only have this much so I would uh, suggest ordering while you still can it will be a while so anyway two dollars a piece um, I believe is a fair deal and um, yeah two dollars a piece for one by eight printed boards and here we go, this is the Brick of Fig sticker pack right here. So you get two minifigures per sheet, and very, very cool. High quality material, and this material is pretty loose in the beginning. You can let it set for a couple hours, and then it really gets kind of locked in. And so it's easier to like maneuver and put on the minifigure, but then once it stays, it's more of a solid, uh, more of a solid bond on that. So yeah, um, these go on the side of the legs and wrap around to the front so like you know the, the front part of the leg and then these go inside the legs right here and then the torso and uh, back of the torso for the top two so yeah very very cool stuff here um, Dave what do you think about these high quality stickers I really like them um, and I'm really impressed with the quality they're different from most stickers that you're accustomed to they're kind of a, a vinyl like substance and as Joshua said you have a little flexibility with them when you first put them on, in, uh, but once you get them in place and let them sit, I think the cure time is like a day or so, they will lock in. You can still pull them off at some point, yes. but they will adhere a little better than your average sticker. So we're real, real proud of, proud of these. Yeah. And you will be too when you deck out your uh, company of Rogers Rangers on the cheap yeah and also um, you have that st sticker up there at the top the brick of logo is a sticker so you can put that on your lunchbox or on your backpack your phone on your laptop I don't know where you would want to put it your refrigerator whatever you want to do but um, you can spread the good word of brick of I'm gonna put mine on the toilet seat that way I get to see it a lot <laughs> he will not be my spokesperson for the company. <laughs> if you've been keeping up with the brick and fig news and all that, you may have heard me talk about World War One and something around Christmas related oh, stuff. Stinky. And they, we just couldn't get it done um, by a number of reasons. But 
anyway, we're still doing World War One minifigures. We're just not going to do our Christmas thing. We'll push that off till next year at Christmas time. But the World War One minifigures are still happening. So um, we're going to do World War One British guys and World War One German guys. And then if they advance high enough, those sell well. You know, we'll maybe do some French guys as well. And these are early war variants, um, specifically winter variants. So you got the early 1914 winter variants of those two guys. Um, those should be coming. Possibly, probably at the beginning of the year, like January, early January, maybe late December, but no promises there. But thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, turning all notifications. 